Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go and hit that subscribe button. I need 50 subscribers, 50 followers, and what will I be doing? I will be giving a free giveaway at 50 subscribers. So, you're going to find out a little bit about what we've been up to. It does involve Nerf guns, and also you are going to get to meet Mr. Mick. And I was just asking him a few questions about how he's feeling about this whole situation at the moment. So, yeah, I'm excited. Zero. No, don't write zero. Oh. Go on then. Uh, did you not even get anywhere? Hundred. Huh? Hundred. Hundred. <laughs> did you get it? Did you get oh. As you would have seen there in the video, okay, we were having fun with Nerf guns. We had nothing to put up, so we decided to just get an old bed sheet and put targets on the bed sheet. And we made our own little box thing. I don't even know what you call it. Um, out of lots of boxes that we had, just to make it taller so that we could stick a Pringle box part on top and we could... So yeah, we literally shot it down and yeah, we got points for it. Um, was quite surprised that I got it down as well. That was really, really surprising. The kids really did enjoy it, but it was just one thing. We only had like one Nerf gun because the other ones take different bullets. So that was a bit of a bummer, but you know, we had to get on with it. We can't go out and buy new ones because it's not an essential. So yeah, we just had fun and it was a lot of fun. So. The other day I was speaking to Mr Mick and I was saying to him about kind of like what it's all about. What is this all about and how did he feel about it? And here's just a few words that he had to say for what's going on and also for everyone that watches my YouTube. Babe, so I just wanted to ask you a few questions. So with everything that's going on and me obviously not being able to work at the moment now, and you're still working, and I'm with the kids all day, and I'm absolutely going crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> at home. Because um, we know that Aaron sometimes struggles, yes. and being cooped up as well, and not being able to get out and do much is struggling. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle for him. Yeah. Um, how does that make you feel? Well, do you know what? It's quite concerning, really, because, you know, as much as... I want to be at home right now, okay, the company that I'm working for, I've put measures in place, alright, so that I'm literally just travelling to and from work with, with no involvement with other people, okay, but that still doesn't make me worry about the way that you guys are here at home and your mental health, because being stuck in all the time, it, it must be making you go bloody mad, especially with the four children. Yeah, being five of us in this house. Mm-hmm. And our kids are very active anyway, aren't they? Very. Very, very, very. We have two footballers in the house. And we have Ellie, who just... Always well, wants to be out of her friends and always wants to be just... Exactly. Doing her own thing, didn't she? Yep. And, well, Casey, she's just a... Uh, she's a bit of a hermit. She's so, a bit of a hermit. So maybe she's just loving it. Yeah. I'm sure by the end of it, she can't, she'll, she'll be really happy to go out. Yeah. I think so too. And do you think that we're going to appreciate the world better? We're going I, to appreciate everything better? I think, yeah, totally and honestly, all right, we will massively appreciate the world, okay? Because just over in the last coming days, you've seen how clear the sky is, all right? You know, there's no, it's undoubtedly, undoubtedly, the air is a lot more pure. Yeah. Okay, and you know, we're hearing things all the time, like, you know, in Venice. Do the... you think people will appreciate their families more? 100%, alright? Because... 
as this virus peaks in the country and you know what they're saying is going to happen and makeshift hospitals that are flying up and the bed capacity just says it all really um i think so i think massively all right because at the end of the day all those grandparents that are at home okay that you only see probably twice a year i'm sure i bet there's lots of people out there yeah this is not going to happen anymore yeah you know because you only live once you don't realize how how much you miss and uh, and don't do in such a short time you know the average person probably lives between the age of 65 to like 80 years of age yeah let's say i'm not saying that's a statistic i'm just using it as a example <laughs> you make me laugh no but i'm just being serious <laughs> I know, yeah I know. and um that is quite a short time right yeah. okay myself you know i'm 34 this year Okay, you're 35 this year. I feel like I've just blinked and my life's gone past so far. So it just goes to show you how short life, or life is too short. And that is, that, that is what it is. So I think massively the world will be take, will, won't be taken for granted as much as it has been. And also I think family will realise what family is. And social interaction will, will be back in force you know face to face instead of device to, to device yeah you know because by helping and volunteering and moving around and doing things and missing that for such a long period of time is going to make you want to have more social Be involvement there, yeah. face to face yeah. when this is all over